a god self manifestation society is here to divinely align a boy child in a society where in most cases most of them that have been neglected by society since they are men they ought to know what they are supposed to do i am minister polite serving under full armor fellowship church kenya under prophet steve and pastor chris why god sons society for boys in kenya we are going to give christian best mentorship for the men or the boys in a society so that they can function as per the god's will we are also going to give them educational support and we also wish to give them excellent skills so that they can function in the marketplace through connection how are we going to give them christian mentorship education support and uh, excellent skills to function in the marketplace we are going to work with partners whereby uh, most of them need to go through rehab so that they can go under correction for a period of at least one year and during rehabilitation most of them they'll be given training and word and also they'll be taught on how to pray so that as the society will welcome them back they will come back to a society as men or boys who are willing and are ready to serve a society Satan has taken men in a society under siege we see it in the books of second kings where most men where the creditor came for the two sons meaning the the this seed of a son is under siege the enemy is after a man who is the seed to generation so quality mentorship and educational support connection in the marketplace it is going to offload the weight that has been put under a boy child or a man in a society so let us help each other join hands together give quality support give guidance let us move one man at a time from the streets if you check in the street the highest gender in the street are men and like girls even you do research you'll get there are more girl schools in Kenya than boys schools not only in Kenya but even in the entire world so it it is not a competition that men should compete with women what we are here to do is just to uplift this gender that has been somehow neglected because people think that they know what to do but in real sense they need to be guided for instance in case um some said in case a marriage fails the most people that are being blamed are men you hear ladies complain i left because this man do it this and this if you train the root for these things you find out that society thinks that they know why how they are supposed to run a family but there is a gap most of them lack mentorship on how to run a family most of them they are not prayerful a praying man is a winning man if a society has to win then we need a gideon who has to stand in gap in prayer someone who will stand not women praying more than men if a woman prays more than a man in a society that family is more likely to fail however what you are here to do is just to encourage so that the men will take their position in a society as kings it is my desire that we bring these vessels for refill most of them most of you are asking what are these vessels that i am talking about the vessels that i am talking about we are here as mothers we are here as parents father it is the desire of god that a man should prosper spiritual prosperity and marketplace prosperity i urge everyone please bring the sons bring your, your brothers 
bring them so that we have leaders who are going to train them on the skills on how to work on how to function on how to stand in a gap as a man like the two sons in the bible most people call them as irresponsible sons they knew very well that the father before the father died the father had a debt that was supposed to be to settle but they tend not to do it so what we are supposed to do but when the mother came in and request them to help bring the vessel for refill they did it so what we are supposed to do we are supposed to join hands bring the vessel we fill them with knowledge we fill them with skills we fill them with the word of god where there is a word of god there is an entrance of light men in a society are the light for the society so let us not allow them to dominate in the world let us allow them to come in the kingdom and fill with the word of god so when they go back to the society they function as expected now if we do that we will happily align them to the will of god in the book of hosea chapter 4 and verse 6 the bible says that my people perish for lack of knowledge what does this mean it means that the absence of knowledge will automatically lead to destruction so as gsms we want to empower the boy child with knowledge and understand because we know that knowledge is power uh, the bible always also says that you shall know the truth and it shall set you free so it is important for the boy child to be equipped with knowledge so that they can maneuver the the current societal life and issues with ease and comfort secondly we see also in the bible that esau was an excellent hunter and Jacob was also a very crafty uh, hard shepherd so we want to also equip our boy child with skills to drive in the marketplace whether they are opening up businesses or they are employed or they are doing anything just to generate income we want to give them the the necessary skills and technical know-how so that they can excel in that area and in that section it is sad to note that in this current generation of society the boy child is unable to fend for himself the highest number of homeless people are boys and men and uh, this is leading to a very high rate of suicide a very high rate of crime among the young men who are growing up in society so we feel that if we impact them with the necessary skills to generate an income for themselves that will allow them to be able to sustain themselves and to fend for their bills that will go a long way in helping them to rise back to their uh, ordained status by God. Thirdly, uh, we want to advance or to propel or to push these boy children to get back to their status as priests of their families and of their households. The Bible says that men ought always to pray and not to wait. We want to equip these young men and even old men alike with, with, with spiritual knowledge to help them maneuver their spiritual lives as well. Because the Bible also says that in as much as we prosper in the physical, it is also important that also in the spirit we are also prospering as well. So we also want to deal with the spiritual aspect of it all to see that these young men are also uh, reinstated back to their status as priests and kings in this current generation. The boy child is frequently discriminated against and stigmatized in today's society. Uh, this has been a significant impact in the self-esteem and the sense of worth resulting to a variety of negative uh, issues that will affect the boy child to a place of depression, to a place of addiction, to a place of even suicide. In the past times in the society, we've heard that the girl child has been given an upper hand over the boy child, finding that the boy child has to be in a place of seclusion, in a place where there is the aspect of 
the masculinity of a man where a man has to be the one who is dependent upon. So the issues that arise when we talk about the self-esteem issues of a man or a boy child is the place where this boy child has no place to go. When calamity hits, when any other thing that the society seems as normal to a boy child to be able to attend to, the boy child finds himself at a place where he cannot execute effectively that which he has been given. This has brought the boy child to a place of depression where the society has backed up a lot of issues, concerns, desires that the boy child must have to achieve. This has put the boy child in a place where they have come to depression in a place where they have come to have these suicidal tendencies because the society has a lot uh, of expectations to the boy child. These issues that affect the boy child most, mostly are mental, mostly are societal, mostly are environmental or family. Like in the setup of an African, uh, let me say an African society or an African home, we are all, always told as a boy child you have to stand up you have to be there, you have to be focused, you have to be this person who cannot cry or feel it in the presence of other people. So you have to take in everything as a man or a boy so that you do not present yourselves as weak. Without considering the fact that we are all human beings and there are tendencies where we get to uh, and feel tired, feel oppressed, feel depressed, feel that we cannot take it anymore. And this baggage has been upon the boy child for so long that right now it has come to a place that the society should come up and also protect the issues of the boy child. It is important that as much as we are protecting the girl child who seems more vulnerable, the boy child is also vulnerable in this 21st century because the, the things, the demands that are placed upon a boy child are so heavy and not most people are supporting this boy child in order to attain their goals. So we end up as boy children and what we do, we go into depression, we go into addiction, we have to look for an avenue to get out, an outlet that can bring out our emotions or help us to cloud or to put everything in context or in our hearts in a way that we do not portray our weaknesses. If this issue is addressed properly, the boy child will have a place in this society where they can express themselves confidently. They will not fall into addictions trying to justify their masculinity. They will not fall into depression trying to justify who they are in the society. Hey, greetings, praise the Lord. My name is Prophet Steve. It's my pleasure to invite you to this particular launch, God's Son Manifestation ministries for all society. Uh, great initiative led by Polite. Polite. And in my view, the boy child has been neglected in society. But this is because uh, a lot of emphasis has been put into ensuring the girl child stands amidst all challenges. We have a lot of women empowerment programs, a lot of Mandela uh, and Anawak. You can name them all. But where is the place of a boy in the society? Looking in the Bible, God banks much of the seed, because the seed carrier is the male child. And so I believe this um, society or this ministry is for such a time as this, because God wants our children to be nurtured in the ways of the Lord. And most importantly, is for them to come to a realization that it is important to guard the deposits of God in their lives. Our society today does not pay much emphasis on the boy child because. Um, I mean, come to think of it, every other aspect of life is being empowered by the, by, the, by the culture. This is not to mean that it is wrong to empower a woman or a culture, but I'm just trying to advocate for the place of a man in the society. Have you ever thought about the greatest fall in the Bible, which is attributed to the culture? Well, this might sound controversial, but in the truth, it took Eve to make Adam fall. It took um, Delilah to make Samson fall. It took, you know, a lady to make a great man fall. This is because if there is no balance in the ecosystem on how God created gender, then we begin to compete for masculinity and there is no day a woman can take the place of a man. This has to be understood. Every masculine person must take their position. That's why this society has come for such a time as this to sensitize men and boys of their position in the society. What a woman can do 
I mean, what a man can do, they say a woman can do. It's a lie. You cannot compete with God's order. But we can only say what a man can do, a woman can complement. That means there's a place for a man and there's a place for a woman. So when these two things come together, these two people come together, we have a masterpiece. And I believe the society is supposed to focus more on how we relate and how we gel as far as God's order and the matters of the society are concerned. So I believe that even as you join hands with Colleen to make this um, dream come true, be a good partner. I mean, if you can reach out to 10 boys, partner with her. Let us support this course. Because I believe if we can support 10 boys, we have supported 10 generations. Imagine that. Just, just one support can go a long way to support a whole generation. Why? Because every male child is a seed guy. So my encouragement to everybody who has turned out uh, for this launch and anybody who might watch this uh, clip, this is a registered society. Go ahead and be a blessing, partner, and ensure that every boy shall, both in the church, in the marketplace, in the society, wherever they are. You want to see these kids come out of the streets and take their place right in the place where God has a place for them. So I believe in empowering the boy child. I don't know about it. It would be great to see you supporting the boy.